Howdy, everyone. My name's Nicholas, and welcome to the Headliner Pod Pod. We're a show about podcasts featuring podcasts by podcasters that's hosted by people who help podcasters with their podcasting. On each episode, a few of us folks over at Headliner sit down to play a game that centers around listening to randomly selected clips from over 500 episode submissions we've gotten from podcasters. Why? Well, in order to find what we call Pod Zero. Here are the rules. Each lucky contestant will hear a 60-second podcast clip. They'll then need to pick the correct podcast title from a lineup of three choices before being shown the artwork for that show. Before we get this show on the road, though, let's say hi to each of our contestants for today. Starting with Oliver. Hello, hello, hello. Next up, we've got Max. Yo, 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 yo. Who's really into yo-yos this week, apparently. We've been walking the dog all day. Not a real dog, yo-yo. Yeah, thank thank you for that. <laughs> Next up, we've got Christy. Followed by Jesse. Hello, everyone. And last, Pratik. Hello, everyone. Actually, not last, because we also have a list with our ad read of the week. Hi. Okay, here it goes. Looking for a way to grow your podcast at scale? Try Podcast Promo. Podcast Promo is a transparent programmatic ad unit that gets your podcast in front of listeners in a highly targeted way. To learn more or create a campaign, visit dashboard.headliner.app and click on the Podcast Promo tab. All right, cool. Thank you for that. So let's just, you know, roll with things and get this party started. Oliver, would you like to go first? Yes, I would, Nicholas. Thank you. Awesome. To get to a point where you're creating a character and and realizing the right thing for them to do is actually to act out in a violent way, mm-hmm. whether, whether words or, or physically. So tell me about developing that that aspect. Yeah, I did find that quite um, striking the right balance with Rosie was important to me because I think she could have very easily just become a one note evil you know, character. So I think that really making sure that we saw all the vulnerabilities that she had, all the pain that she's carrying, and also the small ways in which she shows love. And we don't necessarily see that in in many ways in the present, but I think in the little sacrifices that she makes when when push really comes to shove and when her family really needs her to step up, she will. Okay. And there was your clip, Oliver. Here are okay. your options. Number one, writing life. Number two, Kobo in conversation. And number three, book talk pod. What was that middle one? Kobo in conversation. And the first one was that writing life? Yep. Well, writing I'm going to fall into the Craig trap and, and, and pick Kobo in conversation. Well, you actually just completely avoided the trap, if we're being honest. You you got it right. Really? It was. Yeah, it was Kobo in conversation. I'm assuming this is a sponsored podcast by Kobo, yeah. maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Kobo's like an e-reader type. Yeah, it's the, the non-Kindle e-reader. So good on you for getting that. It's also one of the currencies in Nigeria. It is their bronze coin. I Googled that to see if it meant anything else. (laughs) So there you go. This is from the episode, Laura Tamblin Watts on 27 Essential and Uncomfortable Conversations. Here's our show description. Join hosts Michael Tamblin and Nathan Maharaj for in-depth conversations with all kinds of authors about their latest books, how they write, and the books and writers that shaped and inspired them. So it is a, you know, obviously a writing podcast, which makes sense if it's by Kobo. So neat. And Kobos are pretty cool. They have a color e-reader that I've had my eyes on for a couple of years, I believe. Anyway, jumping on over to our next contestant. Let's go with Max. All right. And I think that is a glimmer moment. Yes, occasionally you'll smile at someone and they will give you a bit of a frown or they will just look the other way and totally ignore you. Yep. You know what? That's on them. It's not on me and it's not on you. If you want to give out smiles, give them out every day. So when it comes to glimmers, I think you should use all five senses. What can you see? 
What can you hear? What can you smell? What can you feel? And also, what can you taste? And if you want to experience even more glimmers, put your phone down and look around you. Spend time talking with your partner. Spend time with friends that make you laugh and that make you feel good. And I don't think we can actually overdose on glimmers. So I think you should go out there and overindulge as much as you can. Like I said, they are all around you. Sometimes we need to switch off technology, get away from our TV sets, put our phones down. Like I said, spend time with family. Okay. I can listen to his voice all day. What was your question, Mags? What was he saying? Glimmers? He was talking about glimmers, I think was the term he used. What is that? I think that's just like little pleasant moments with the people you love. Based off the context, that was kind of the gist of it, I think. Right. I hope so. so if it's not something else, offensive term. No, it's not. It's not like slang for anything else, I think. So, I'm Googling it, but I think it's it's happy. Sound happy. Yeah, and just it just sounds like happy moments with like your friends and family. So here are your options, Max. Number one. Podiatry Legends podcast. Number two, Legs, Knees, and Toes podcast. And three, Steppin' and Reppin' podcast. Number three is amazing. Yeah. But I don't think it's it. Oh. Number two is also amazing. And it might not be it, but I want it to be. It seems mm. more likely. So I'm going to choose it. And if it's number one, I apologize for saying number two is better but i i think number one is the best one because podiatry podcast you know podiatry like pod. yeah the like there's i don't know i almost put the emphasis on pod at the start like pod i tree it's another pod pod yeah exactly so there's unfortunately max one. i'm sorry no well there, in, in this case there are two like there, there are literally two pod pods because this was the correct no, answer. <laughs> Max, you just longer. you need some glimmers, Sorry. man. There's there's enough glimmer in the world for two pod pods. Which I googled glimmer and well, I lost the definition, but it was a small. It was like a small, calming, happy effect. That's not yeah. the definition that I found, but I can't find that tab anymore. So there you have it, Max. There was more than enough room for two pod pods. This was never the Thunderdome. Two can enter and two can leave. I disagree. This very happy, delightful person has found a very angry, vindictive enemy who will oh my gosh. Stop until there's one pod pod. Okay. On that, I'm not even going to touch that with like a 10 foot pole, man. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's just get back to the glimmers. Okay, this is from episode 326. Embrace glimmers, finding joy in everyday moments with Tyson E. Franklin. There's a parentheses we can add there, except for Max, because he's all glimmered out, apparently. And here's That's our show description. The yo-yo. <laughs> the yo-yo kept snapping, I think, right? Exactly. Oh. I could have gotten uh... up with the, my scissors because I was, I was over it. The yo-yo is gone. Anyways, I need some yeah. glimmers in my life, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn up the glimmer dial, get back on the positive note. Okay. Let's get back to well, this, some podcast. Here's our show description. The Podiatry Legends podcast will change the way you see, feel, and think. That was all caps about their podiatry about the podiatry profession. This podcast is a place where podiatrists openly share their amazing stories and career paths and expert business and marketing tips. It will expose you to all the opportunities that currently exist within the podiatry profession. So there you have it. Interesting stuff all around. I'm seeing the artwork for this audiogram that we just listened to is of a rainbow. So that's fun. That in itself is a glimmer, a glimmer I believe. And yeah, neat stuff. Jumping on over, let's go with Christy next, shall we? I'm ready. Wait, no, I'm not. What am I going to use? I'll use this. I have to use something weird every time. Okay. I think it's this way, actually. Is it this way? Is it this way? 
it can be a place for inspiration. It can be a place for connection, collaboration that brings humor into our everyday. I mean, my God, how many memes do we send back and forth <laughs> all day, every day? Like the world is run on memes. Yeah. Right? Like <laughs> um, there's so much good and it's really easy to have negativity bias and to only see the negative. And I think that maybe after having been in the online business mm -hmm. algorithm space, like yeah. maybe I'm just getting fed a lot of content that doesn't align with me anymore. Yeah. Like you've outgrown it. Um, like you went through. I'm like, yeah, like I'm ready for a glow up. Yeah, <laughs> I love this. I think that I hear a series coming. All right. There is your clip, Christy. All right. And here are your choices. Number one, you can do magic with Dan P. Number two, influencing pod. And number three, find your magic. I'm going to go three, finding your magic. Just find find your actually you know yeah. what no no longer i no longer want it it's it's just fine <laughs> so i'm gonna go with the first one with dan p okay unfortunately it was find your magic so sorry it's for the, my I, sake it's the ings <laughs> yeah well no for for my sake which one would you have gone with if it was find your magic found your magic and finding your magic found because it's it's i would think like someone that's already found their magic should tell them about how to how to be how to talk about yourself in that way so to show that you've already found it okay wow that's that's actually really interesting well so sorry it was find your magic it's okay and <laughs> Alyssa's rock raising her hand rock that's... bottom is comfortable <laughs> yeah I, I just wanted it known that i did bring back a music reference and today you can do magic with dan p there's a song by the band America, and Dan P is one of the main guys in the band. I, th I thought that name sounded familiar. What? They're the horse Dan with no Peek. name guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. All right. Fun. Just wanted I usually known. can catch them. I, I, I've, I've gotten to catch, I think, all of them. I think I'm like now shooting like nine for 10, any of the music ones. So I yeah. think something before 1980. So I'm that. Yeah, that was a deep cut, Alyssa. Yeah. Thank you. So. You're welcome. Okay. This was from episode 102, making money on social media without compromising your ethics or mental health with influencer marketing expert, Nicole Camacho. And here's our show description. Oh boy, it's long. Welcome to Find Your Magic, the podcast where entrepreneurship and mental health meet. If you found your way here, it's no accident. Maybe you have a hunch that your work should be more fulfilling that your relationships should be more supportive, that your days should be more joyful, or maybe you're nervous to take the leap into a new chapter of life. If any of that sounds like you, you're in the right place. I'm your host, Kelsey Foremost, marketing expert, mental health advocate, founder of Magic Words Copywriting, and resident word nerd. This safe, kind, and fun space is full of meaningful conversations with successful entrepreneurs, creatives, experts, and friends exploring what it really takes to forge your own path and build the life you love. My guests and I talk about all the things from actionable, from actionable business advice to creative process to mental health and everything in between. We're here to show you that you don't have to feel brave to do brave things. If you show up for these vulnerable conversations, it means you're ready to invite more magic into your career and your life. You, my friend, are a magic maker, and I'm so grateful you're here. That is a heck of a last name to have as a marketing expert. Foremost, that that's like being a real estate agent named Jonathan sells a lot of houses. Like, good <laughs> on you for that. Was that like an accident? Did you legally change your name to that? I, I don't want to know. I want the magic to be preserved. So <laughs> that There's that was really interesting. I, I just learned it around an acronym. Is that what the term? That's actually what that is. No, there's a term for it. Okay. I was reading a book that. Huh. But shout out to the librarian named Bookman from Seinfeld. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Bookman. He's the the like one that acted like a cop, I think. The library cop. 
You had a library cop. I remember that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, return your books on time. On that note, let's go with Pratik next. Not only because he's the only one who hasn't gone yet, but actually, Jesse, you haven't gone yet, have you? I don't think I have. Okay, well, we're going to go with Pratik because he looks like a person who has an overdue library book. Ready? Oh, there it is. He's he's covering his face with it, everybody. <laughs> I'm kidding. So your thoughts lead to your beliefs, which lead to your actions. And at any moment, you have the capacity to shift one of these three things, and it will actually shift the others. So if I take a new action one morning, let's say I decide, okay, I'm going to give a coffee, right? So that's my action. Well, I might think that's impossible, right? <laughs> but if I take that action several days in a row, my thinking about that possibility might change. And over time, I can come to believe that I don't need it. But here's the key. And here's what we're talking about today. If I give a coffee and I'm mad about it, nothing's going to change. It's only going to get worse. And that's why so often on this journey, we suffer because we feel so deprived of the things that we love and the things that we want in addition to not having our baby. Okay, there was your clip critique. I saw Alyssa react to the idea of giving up coffee and <laughs> which is pretty I funny. Shudder. Yeah, you I shuddered shudder. at the thought of it. I... I'm in a similar boat, but I think I'm like the subject of some strange Pavlov's experiment because every time she said give up coffee, I instinctively reached for my coffee. So I had to like make myself not do it. Okay, noted. On that note, Pratik, here are your options. Number one, bad mamma jamma. Number two, badass fertility. And number three, fertility talks. The first one is bad mamma jamma, by the way. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mama Jama. Sounds like it's Mama not Jama. the first one. It's well, no, it's because <laughs> Mama and Jama are it's hard to say really quickly. <laughs> also, ma like the saying Mama Jama, like it's Yeah, it is a saying. But also. it's Mama. I just want to know if that influences any decisions, it's Mama. What were the other two again? Badass fertility and fertility talks. Let's go with the third one. Fertility talks. Okay, fertility talks is incorrect. So sorry. It was badass fertility. And also, Alyssa, I am taking the first choice to a subcommittee because that is the word mama. There are two there are two M's right next to each other. I Googled it. Okay. Because <laughs> I was okay, whatever. It was supposed to be mama. It was a typo. Whatever. whatever. Nobody it picked it. It wasn't right. I'm just it's the fine. only one that's hurt, but it's fine. Did you pick it because of the song? By any chance, was it a second song reference? No, I just know like bad mama okay. jamma, and I saw badass fertility, and I was like, it's about moms. Well, it was a good choice, nonetheless. So sorry you didn't get it right, Pratik. Here is a bit of info about this one. This is from the episode Affirmations Don't Work Unless You Do This One Thing. And the description is Are you having trouble getting pregnant and seeking a community? Who shares your challenges and passion for becoming a mom? Welcome to Badass Fertility, the podcast that truly gets it and recognizes that the struggle is real. So, good effort. That was actually a tough one. It probably doesn't help that Alyssa and I just like broke into an argument halfway through it, but whatever. Now, Jesse, it's it's time for you to go. You disappeared in the screen, by the way. So we're I'm assuming your your eyes are covered. Yeah. It's because they think that Dr. Rick Becker poses a threat to Ms. Fedorja. Mm -hmm. If they didn't think that he had a really good chance of winning, if they didn't think that North Dakotans are sick and tired of politics as usual in North Dakota, yeah. they would not be spending thousands of dollars to smear him and to lie about him so that Ms. Florchuk would have a chance. And she's not a conservative. I don't believe at all that she's a conservative. I believe Rick Becker is. So there it is. 
So now let's let's move on to the let's move on to the what are we going to move on to? Let, I'm, I'm, something that's that's that'll make some money. I want to close on this little segment though. Um, yes. At least you don't live in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see their session? They basically ended the other last week at midnight or whatever it was. Didn't let the Republicans do anything. They just kept no 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 we're not and just like that. Time to convene. Okay. Here are your options, Jesse. Number one, GFBS, Grand Forks Best Source. Number two, GFBS, Great Food Best Service. And number three, GFBS, Grateful Friends Bull Sh. <laughs> so the, the first one was Great Forks best service no 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 grand forks grand forks best yeah. service well all right no all right. grand forks best source best source best yeah. source all yeah, right yeah. all right i'm gonna go with number one because that one this this feels like a news podcast in the area of minnesota and the dakota regions let's and, go timberwolves yeah yeah <laughs> okay i <laughs> But yeah, we're going with number one, locking it in, good forks, better service. That Great wasn't what the first gr choice grand, was. But I... Grand forks, <laughs> bet. yes, the number one. Yeah, the, the first one is correct. Good on you. Should I have counted that? I mean, you said the second title, but you said the first option. What's the number one? Is the, the one that was newsy, the news one. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. That counts. This is from the episode Hidden Agenda, Home of the Brave or Dig Your Own Grave. It really went for, well, okay. <laughs> it rolls off the tongue. And here's our show description. Grand Fork's best source studio. We're here to provide the community with the local information, events, human interests, hot topics, and more. We want to provide local businesses with an affordable alternative for promoting your business or speciality. Seeing as this seemingly takes place in Minnesota, I'd like to promote my speciality, which is reading the lyrics to modern pop songs in a Bob Dylan voice. It's not a very marketable skill. I thought I'd just throw it out there. <laughs> At any rate. You guys want um, to do a basketball podcast? Talk about the game last night? Who played last night? Was it the Timberwolves? Yeah. Timberwolves and Dallas. Okay, see, the Knicks, the Knicks disappeared and I stopped paying attention. They did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So on that note, everyone's gone once. How about you all huddle up together and we just go for one more round? How about that? Let's cool. go, Wolves. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously, I think there's a few at the time mixed opinions. So there's a lot of people, obviously, a lot of people online have a lot to say all the time about things, but. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it's a sort of excellent way to sort of have continuing adventures, like even with older doctors, because obviously there's people that absolutely, you know, love David Tennant. And now they've mm -hmm. kept him, they can keep him going for more adventures. Um, and I really like the idea that like his doctor gets to rest now, like he doesn't have to be the one to save the day anymore. And I really like the two TARDISes as well, like the last little bit of the, you know, toy makers toys yeah <laughs> yes yeah. to sort of split the TARDIS in two because I imagine if there is another by regeneration then the other doctor won't get a TARDIS so um, but yeah so I enjoyed that I think it was like yeah a lot of it yeah okay there is your clip and here are your options everybody number one space space baby number two inspecting space time pod and number three, Cosmic Circle. We get an accent check on the host. I, I'm assuming British. Who's the expert? Was it Lewis? Christie's? Uh, yeah, I you know, think it's on. They're definitely talking about Doctor Who there, so it's definitely, probably English. Doctor Who. I think that was. Uh... Accent from Kent. 
Yes. Not yeah, yeah, I concur. New York. I'm just making that. I have no idea. Never been to York. Um, I just like the word cosmic. It's a good so, word. Also, the word TARDIS is a very interesting choice for a spacecraft. It's like 60 it's years old. It's a time machine, too. isn't it? <laughs> A time machine, spacecraft. What? What is? Yeah, it? I, I haven't actually seen Doctor Who. It's on the bucket list. Has anybody seen it? Nobody's seen the show. No. I've seen like a couple of episodes from, like the mid two thousands one with the Irish guy. Oh, the one that everyone on Tumblr liked back then. Yes, he was part of Super Who Lock. Yeah. Well, I think you're the you're the most informed, Christy. I'm the most informed, but I don't. Yeah. I'm bad at naming. Like, I'm I'm bad at guessing what people named a thing. What so, were the names again? I like so just number like one. Cosmic. Number one was space space baby. Number two was inspecting space time pod, and number three was cosmic circle. Do any of those sound more Doctor Who like to you? No. I feel like the first one was like Austin Powers vibe, and that's not really yeah. what I think of when I think of Doctor Who, but I've never seen it. So I want to rule that one out. Blink once if you agree. I agree. Okay. Or just tell me. Number two. How do you feel about number two? It's all it's okay. I really am having a hard time remembering what it was. I just remember the cosmic circle one. It was inspecting was all space time. Okay. Inspecting space time. Yeah, I don't know. Do they say space time continuum a lot on the show? Probably. This is a show about time travel, so I'd assume yeah. they would. I know it's a show that was on the air during for a time. And it's a show that's on it. the air currently, Jesse. It took up space. Looky there, even in <laughs> yeah. that small bit of information all... I tried to give, still wrong. <laughs> so I know less than yeah. nothing about the show. It's been on and off the air since the 60s, if I'm not mistaken. And a bunch wow. of the early episodes are lost. Is there a flux capacitor in the show? No, that's the other time travel property. Well, let's let's pick that one. Which one? The second one? Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. Sure. Whichever. Two or Any, three. You choose. Yeah. You choose for us. Any objections from the rest of the team who've been eerily silent? <laughs> nope. Pick three, my lord. <laughs> you pick three? No. It was the, three? Sorry, I was doing a Shrek. Yeah, go with number two. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. No, no. We all work together. That's This is what it's like. <laughs> You call this working together? All this working together. <laughs> okay. Lock it in the second one, I guess. Inspecting space time pod is incorrect. It should have been the third one. Jesse, if your pick three was serious, you would have gotten it. It was Cosmic Circle. No problem. Yeah. Which I'm assuming is a Doctor Who reference. Maybe. I don't know. Cosmic Circle? That was yeah, the maybe. name. That was the name. You didn't. That wasn't what you told us. You said something yeah, that it was. No, I said Cosmic Circle for the third one. Am I the only one who heard something about a continuum? Yeah, he mentioned You all were word. talking about you it. Y'all were talking about <laughs> the continuum. And I said, no, they probably say that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all collectively could go for a cup of coffee. Chaos! Yeah. <laughs> So sorry. For what it's worth, the second one is technically a Doctor Who reference because Community's ripoff of Doctor Who is called Inspector Space Time. Okay. So there well, you that go. Was but this a, a Doctor Who. Yeah. Oh, ah! slow ah! clap for that. <laughs> this is from the episode Doctor Who Space Babies and the Devil's Cord Discussion, episode 55, which Googled as soon as I read that because I was like, Space Babies is a word. And that apparently is an episode from this year. So here's a bit about the show. Audio episodes for the CosmicCircus.com website. 
Cosmic Surf- the Cosmic Circus covers Marvel and DC films and TV series, as well as other comic book, sci-fi, and fantasy mm-hmm. properties such as Star Wars. Cosmic Circle? Yes. You said circus. He said no. circle. I said circle. I feel like I'm in a really? cosmic circus. Dude, I feel like I'm being cosmically like gaslit <laughs> today. <laughs> Jesse, did you say circle or circus? <laughs> <laughs> Can we wait three to five days to find out what the transcript says? <laughs> Let's. You said circus. You might have said continuum. You know, like <laughs> you still got it Max, wrong. Max, which one did I say <laughs> now? Which one are you accusing me of having said? Circle, circus, or continuum? We'll let Eddie decide. <laughs> Eddie will sort it out for us. Don't Eddie's change just the gonna, code. <laughs> Eddie's just going to say that I said the, oh my God, I, Continuum Circus. That's going to be the title, according to Eddie now. Okay. On that note, so sorry. Good effort. Max, you could bring that up with the committee that reviews every choice made on this show. And yeah, thanks for playing, everyone. Those were our choices for today. I think Jesse was the only one who got something right. Maybe. Who knows? No, Oliver also got one right, didn't he? Yes. Yes, yeah. I did. First. There you go. We're all winners so. in our heart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. On that note, thanks for playing, y'all. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And let's just try again next week. And maybe I won't apparently get them wrong this time, Max. Please. Maybe. No more miss. No more. No more lies. <laughs> Bring back the honest. The honest game. Okay, yeah, bring it back to the game you love. All right.